guys, so today's video is a makeup tutorial on this look right here. It's very light, fresh, and dewy. This look is perfect for those of you who don't like to wear heavy makeup, like a full face of really thick or heavy makeup. I'm excited because this video is sponsored by Smashbox. So I will be showing you how I use their camera ready BB water that I have been using for a few weeks and loving. So I'll be showing you how I use this. And you can actually win this product by visiting smashboxbbwater.com. All the info will be below by the way. So yes, check that out. And if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. So I'm going to start with my face makeup first. I'm going to be taking the Smashbox BB Water in the shade Light and applying this to my face. I'm not going to be using a primer because this already has priming benefits in this. It has a very sheer breathable coverage but it does do a good job of evening out my skin tone and blurring my pores. As you can see it does have a runny texture so BB Water is the perfect name because it honestly feels like you are applying water to your skin. It's pretty amazing. I really like that it has a good amount of SPF. It is SPF 30, which is great to wear during the day so it can protect your skin. The best part about this is that it's oil and alcohol free, so it's perfect for sensitive skin like myself. This makes my skin feel so incredibly hydrated as well. I have been using it nonstop and I really, really love it. So I'm just blending that into my skin. Now I'm going to move on to concealer and here I am using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15 Fair. I'm just applying that underneath my eyes because it has a nice fresh dewy finish so it's perfect with this look. And then I'm just going to be blending that in. I'm also applying that on other parts of my face to highlight and also blending that in. I'm going to set the places where I applied the concealer and I'm using this NYX HD powder in the shade Banana. This is going to help prevent it from creasing underneath the eyes and just to make everything set nicely. Next I'm going to move on to bronzing up the skin. I'm not going to contour, I just want a nice warm complexion and I am using the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster in the shade Medium. Then I'm going to go in with blush and the blush I'm using today is the Makeup Geek blush in the shade Romance. It's a nice soft pink but it does have a gold sheen to it. It is really pretty. It gives a beautiful glow to the skin. And now I'm going to highlight my cheeks using the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Highlight in the shade Wisp. This is just going to add an even more dewy glowy appearance to the skin so I'm applying that on the tops of my cheekbones on my nose and anywhere I want to look more glowy now I'm gonna move on to my eyes and I'm gonna keep it very simple just to match the rest of my face makeup I've already primed my eyes and I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush and dip it into the morphe eyeshadow in ES 13 and I'm just gonna move my brush in windshield wiper motions and apply this into my crease now I'm gonna take this vanilla shade it is ES54, also from Morphe, and on a pencil brush, I'm just applying this underneath my brow bone to highlight. And then I'm going to take this eyeshadow, also from Morphe, it is ES76, and I'm applying this to my entire eyelid wet. So I did wet the eyeshadow just to intensify it a little bit more, and I am just applying this on my entire lid all the way up to my crease. After that, I'm going to take that same highlighting shade I used underneath my brow bone and apply it to my inner corners to highlight that area too. Then I'm going to go back into the original shade we used first and applying this underneath my lower lashes just to smoke it out a little bit. And then to finish off the eyes, I am just using my L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara on my top and bottom lashes. So to complete this look, I'm going to use this Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Rio. I'm applying a light layer to my lips and then I'm going to dab it with my finger just so that it's not too intense and opaque. And I'm just going to top it off with this LA Girls Jelly Lip Gloss. It's a nice peachy color. 
So that completes this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!